I found it terrifying as a yes. parent to yes. see where we're at in terms of social media. Right. You're a parent? Yes, yeah. What is your perception? Are we in this right now? Is this the worst case scenario or are things as bad as this movie shows us right now? It shows an aspect of what ha is happening and what can happen. Uh, it's not necessarily the way it is for everyone. It's just using your head. It's an amazing thing, the internet. It, it's helping us in so many ways and then there are uh, weird ways you can go use it and, and, uh, and, and it can shake you up as a person or as a family and uh, it's just it's just pointing that out. I never thought I'd feel nostalgic over a Playboy magazine. I always keep them nearby <laughs> and I'm with you. <laughs> Quickly, you've been in Toronto uh, for a while now uh, shooting pixels. Yes. Where are your favorite spots? What do you like about the city? What impression does it leave on you? I gotta tell you, I've, I've hit it so many places. Uh, uh, everybody's been gone way out of their way for me. Everyone here in Toronto, whenever there was traffic because of the movie, I apologize. But. Um, We've had the best time. I can't sing aloud any restaurants because, I mean, I hit a lot of them and they're all so good to me, so I don't want them, anybody to get mad at me, but really good good stuff. And then the aquarium and the museums and the shoe museum is very nice. They put my shoes up, so thank you to those guys. I know you've worked with Ivan and you've worked with Jason, okay? You were here seven years ago with Juno. Can you dish on which Reitman you like to work with best? Do you have a favorite Reitman? Whichever one I'm with. I love I love the Reitman boys. I, I mean, I, I would be so happy if I could just ping pong back and forth between the two of them. They're, each one of them is, you know, so special and, and you can see the similarities. They have the same laugh and they have the same great eye and, and give great notes as directors and are lovely people. So I feel like I had a lucky year. That was a good Canadian diplomatic answer. I like that. And really quickly, I heard there was a social media ban on set. Can you dish on who was the first one to break that ban when you were doing this film? I mean, I think Jason talked to the kids about maybe staying away from it. I don't use it. Rosemary doesn't use it. So he didn't have to, he didn't have to tell me. I don't use it anyway.